From a young age, most humans become fascinated with animals. They're living, breathing creatures, but they look and act totally different than us. We also learn early on what to call each animal, and those names tend to stick. But the animal kingdom is a bit of a linguistic mess, and many of our names for animals are pretty misleading. Part of the confusion comes from the way animals were named in the first place. English animal names typically came from the explorers who first encountered them in the wild. They would name them after similar animals from their home country or try to anglicize an indigenous name. For example, kangaroo likely comes from a similar word in an indigenous Australian language. But sometimes, the names these explorers or scientists chose would be wildly inaccurate. Scientists have found one way to avoid the mess that is animal names. In the 18th century, Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus created binomial nomenclature, which gave each animal a two-word Latin name. This consisted of their genus and species, like Homo sapiens. But we don't call an African elephant a Loxandanta africana. We call it an elephant. So common names are still important, and many of them are just plain inaccurate. Take for example the king cobra. It's probably not actually a king, and it's definitely not a cobra. Cobras are a member of the genus Naja, while the so-called king cobra is part of the genus Ophiophagus. While king cobras are similar to true cobras, there are differences in their size and coloring. Then there's the guinea pig, which is a doubly incorrect name. Not only is it not from the African country Guinea, it's also not a pig. It's a type of rodent, and it comes from South America. There are a few theories about how guinea pigs got their name. They may have departed South America from Guyana, or they may have passed through Guinea on their way to Europe. They also may have cost one guinea, which was a British coin. A koala bear is not a bear, it's a marsupial. You can easily avoid this error by just calling it a koala, which comes from the indigenous Australian language Darak. And while a panda is a bear, a red panda isn't a panda. It's part of its own genus that's more closely related to weasels and raccoons. Raccoons, coincidentally, are sometimes called trash pandas because they love trash and look a little like pandas at a quick glance. And then there are several misleading bird names. There's the red-bellied woodpecker, whose belly is not red, and the Connecticut warbler, which usually nests in Canada. This only scratches the surface of common animal names that don't make sense, and if you take the time to research some of your favorite creatures, you may find some other surprises. Until then, it might be time to brush up on your binomial nomenclature. <laughs>